Hey guys and welcome to this ma this tutorial brought to you by Mac Production. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to get rid of the error that occurs when you install Fuse Mac Pets within 3D Studio Max 2009, a 10 or 11. So the error says that the INI file could not be written um, and the global settings will not be saved. So I will show you this error. Uh, so let's open up 2011, that's the 3D Max version I have installed. Okay, so we'll just wait for it to load. Okay, so here we are, and here was the error. So it's saying could not open the FumeFX INI file, and the global performances will not be saved. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. First of all, we'll go ahead and close 3D Studio Max. Okay, so now it's closed. Now, here's the file. Here's a folder I've just created. So simply, first of all, we're going to go to Start Computer, and we're going to go into OS, Program Files, Autodesk, 2011. You also, if you have 2009, go to 2009. Scroll down and look for Plugins, and here it is. In Plugins, you should have Afterworks and Theme Effects. Now, if this is what your for Fume Effects what it looks like, then simply what we need to do is we need to create a new Notepad file which I cannot create from here, so I'm not going to start Notepad and I'm going to go ahead and just save this blank into Tutorials 3D Studio Max uh, Fume Effects Tutorial. So I'm going to save this as FUME FumeFX.ini same as what the arrow said and save it you probably won't be able to save it into the program files as you need administrator permission so simply just create it outside uh, probably on desktop or in my documents after creating it uh, go ahead and drag it into this folder click continue for administrator permission and now you should have the file now the error should be fixed if not there is another very simple yet annoying um, solution which only occurs with Vista or Windows 7 and which is this U something whatever you call it so simply what you need to do is you need to run 3D Studio Max add an administrator because within program files you cannot edit files unless your user is a administrator so simply I'm going to go ahead and right click go and show desktop icons right click on 3d studio max 2011 and run as administrator click that it should ask you uh, the user account control that's it um, this is probably the most annoying thing within uh, windows vista and windows 7 and now um, we'll wait for this to load Okay, so now that it opens up, and ta-da, the problem has now been solved. See, simply the thing is, either your fumefx.ini file was not there, or you were once running 3D Studio Max as an administrator, which doesn't, which stops the fumefx from writing files which in, within program files. So, uh, that's pretty much all from 3D, uh, from Mac production. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do go ahead and comment, like, and um, subscribe to my channel and I will be doing more tutorials on any of the problems if you have a problem that needs um, solving please do go ahead and email me at mak underscore productions at hotmail.com my website will be launching soon so I'm currently working on that and um, I'll keep you guys updated if you subscribe thank you very much